Hello everyone, uh, it's not often I get to do a vlog, but here we are anyway, uh, in the studio and I am sweltering. Anyway, let's get on to the topic at hand, shall we? So the good fellows over at Raging Heroes uh, have been looking back over some of their model range and uh, I'm a big sis uh, big fan of their, their sister's range, really cool miniatures. And um, they said to us, oh, we're, um, we're redoing our main base infantry, the exemplars. I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And they said, oh, do you want to have a look? And I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. So we had a box of the original exemplars in here. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but they sent us uh, baggies, baggies of bits. Uh, these are all pre-production. These are, I believe they're resin bath 3D printed um, pre-production miniatures. Didn't come with bases or anything, so I had to guess the size of the bases, but I think I got it right. Um, so before we look at the built ones, which I'm going to slide to the side, we're going to have a look at the originals first, so come on down here and let's have a look at the original exemplars. They are gorgeous models, they have some really intricate details, some very cool poses. I love how the model designers have went in and played with the cloaks a lot and the tabards a lot, made them look very dynamic, very fluid, very motion, there's a lot of motion to the miniatures. And they, as a base infantry miniature, they are fantastic. There are tons of tons of detail on them. However, let's move these to the side, shall we? And let's bring in the new version of the exemplars. So let's have a look at these. Now, you may see instantly there's a bit of a size difference here. We've gone from a 25 mil base to what is essentially a 30, 32. And... Um, you can see, even though they're in this uh, black uh, resin, the detail is still very, very tidy. The details are fantastic on them. Again, they've been playing a lot with the cloak work, the cloth, the motion of the miniatures. Um, and particularly if you want to look at this one, I like her sort of mid-stride looking over to her left at something. And the banner, I really like because She's not just holding it up straight, it's, she's advancing with it. She, she actually looks a bit, a bit like an Iron Maiden character, you know, the, the artwork of what? Trooper. Uh, the trooper, that's right, walking over with the, the, the flag. Um, so yeah, these miniatures are looking really good. I can't wait to see them in their full final resin with their, their box and everything. But to show you just where they've come from, what they are now, Let's put an original next to the new. And you can see the change of proportions that they've gone with. The detail is basically the same. They're just a little bit upscaled, still looking as tidy as the older ones. I think for a change in a model range like this, this is perfect because it brings them into line with everything else they've been doing more recently where things are on a little bit of a larger base. Their proportions are a bit more heroic, whereas the original exemplars, I would argue, would be a bit more um, true skill proportions. So that's basically all I have to say on it. I actually really want to get down and, and have a play with them and paint them and muck, or, muck around with them. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, head on over to Raging Heroes and check the, uh, the rest of their range out too. I'll probably make sure there's a link down there. I'll badger someone into doing that. But until next time, stay safe, take care, and see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.